I'm not sure who are we supposed to pass it on. Amita, to you maybe? Yes. Okay, yes, perfect. but uh, am I audible? Okay. Yes, you are to us. Yes. I will stop perfect. my sharing. Okay. Yeah, thank you so much. So the next one uh, speaker we have, uh, and the topic is breaking down barriers, navigating the challenge, challenges of joining and contributing to Fedora community as diverse individual. Do we have the speaker online, please? Hello. Hi, Mohamed Reza. How are you doing today? I'm good, thank you. May I start? Yeah, you are perfectly, yeah, you are perfectly audible to me. I hope it is audible to the rest of the audience as well. Let me just quickly check. Okay. Uh, are we audible, everybody? Can you please uh, type yes or no in the chat? Emma, it are you on metrics or on YouTube? It's on, uh, yeah, it's on metrics. We are perfect. I got the response and acknowledgement that we are live and people can hear us so all the very best for your talk and i i'm sure you're going to share some insights with us and people will be motivated to join fedora as diverse uh, leaders I and diverse so. contributors stage yeah stage is on yours please go ahead <laughs> uh hello uh first of all uh, let me introduce my name is mohammad hendiani I'm Ram. Uh, you don't know me. I'm not particularly famous or anything. Uh, I've been around the Fedora community for over a year at this point, and uh, uh, I got involved well after university. Uh, my bachelor's in co in computer science, but I wasn't particularly fond of Linux as a whole during universities. But um, that's a different talk altogether. Uh, and uh, the, the, what I'm here to share to you is the reason that it took me a year over here to join the Fedora community, even though I was involved in it for this long. Uh, well, the thing that makes it so complicated for most people, not even for people, this just uh, in general, is that it's over complicated or, or documented or not not at all. For example, um, if you want to join the packaging uh, SIG, for example, you can't just go, okay, I signed up in the Fedora portal. I have a single sign on. Now I can go inside the matrix. Okay, now I can't. SIG. How do I join SIG? Okay, find their email and go to the mailing list or go to this course and go into their matrix channel and, and see how they do things. It's good to have uh, a diversified environment which each group can work independent of one another. However, being too distributed only causes confusion. And I feel like at this point, we are far, far from making it easy. Each time I see one of these talks, they don't actually address any of the issues. The last one I saw was a useful chart that came out of it. That okay, this is how you uh, join. But uh, as for me, I couldn't understand how the chart worked. I'm maybe uh, I'm not smart enough. I don't know, but uh, I couldn't figure it out. It wasn't clear. Uh, it showed the general path, but not exactly. The information I wanted to know. So I'm here to share that. Um, if you want to join, unfortunately, the only way is to ask. It's not something that's overly documented because the primary people that do stuff around here are uh, developers and developers hate documentation. Let's just be honest with ourselves. We all do. Uh, and uh, the thing is that uh, when it's not simply documented, most people won't go after it. When it's overly complicated, 
the developers and the persistent type personalities put it off and say, okay, I'll get to that later. I, for one, had like 20 tabs at one point, just how to join it. I've tried four different times over a span of a year to join. I couldn't figure it out. I mean, I couldn't. I went uh, first, uh, uh, no, this wasn't my first, it was my third or second attempt. I tried to join the marketing stick, for example. And uh, um, the requirement that they told me was, And the last attempt that I did was in the AI SIG. I am sort of a member, though you won't find my name in this group. I haven't added yet, so I haven't looked into it. Uh, but because the group actually is more of a packaging SIG, so I became a packager instead. Um, right now, I'm uh, working on the Llama CCP and Whisper CCP packages with Tom Riggs. Uh, which is the person that uh, got me involved in the Fedora community. Ta shout out to Tom uh, of Red Hat. Uh, uh, he works on the Rockham stuff and the PyTorch stuff, which is incredible. It, I won't go into it. It's very complicated. I won't even attempt to let's say I understand half the things he does. Uh, uh, but uh, uh, while, while, uh, while on that note, if you want to join, please shout out. We are very understaffed over there. We need some help. So if you can't uh, can help, it's appreciated. Just go into the matrix and say, hey, I want to help. And people are kind. The thing is, a lot of people have this perception that, okay, if I go and talk and if I go and ask, they're just going to say, go read the manual or do the, uh, yeah, people will do that. I'll be honest, some people have done that to me. And I I go and read it some I just don't have the time for this. Uh, then I go try another group, a less complicated group, a less um, a less popular group. And try my, my luck, luck there. If you do something like that, oh, oh I think my it's connected. Am I audible? Okay, uh, perfect. So I think uh, uh, Mohammed Reza got disconnected. Meanwhile, I can see there is a question about as a new person to the community, it has been really confusing uh, from every SIG has a different process and working group and team has a different process. The wiki and the doc can be updated and contradictory. I would uh, first of all like to acknowledge that there is some kind of hurdles to join the community, uh, the one which has been mentioned. But at the same time, if you dig a little deeper and think any like Mohammed Raza was uh, telling that if you ping people, you will get the help very readily. 
and Mohammad Raza is back with us and he can answer this question more appropriately. Uh, but you can go with the flow and then I can ask you. <laughs> the internet isn't very great. <laughs> that's okay, that's actually. totally fine. <laughs> Happens all the time. So please go ahead and continue with your presentation and I can repeat the question at the end. Please go ahead. because I didn't catch that. Um, okay. Uh, uh, like I was saying, uh, when you have that kind of distribution, it's not easy to find how to get into it. And people, the uh, Fedora community has a problem. The fundamental problem is that they have made it so complicated. It's not spam protection at this point. It's just unreasonable for most people. And by doing so, there are a lot of people go to Fesco for it for a change in that, but uh, I haven't got the idea completely sorted out in my head yet, so I won't uh, go into that. But the thing is that it's become unreasonable for most normal people or most involved in their free time. In their what you will do to actually be get, become involved is just the matrix is your best friend in my experience. This course, uh, people say very good. I personally don't like using it. I'm sorry, I just don't. Uh, I don't think that it's very useful and the conversation goes far. But matrix, because it's a chat format and everyone has it on their phone, it's much more approachable. And if someone this uh, on uh, matrix, I'm most likely to enter. Uh, so if you go to the most popular groups and say, hey, I got a problem with this. Does anybody have any idea on that? For example, the D-level group, which is the developer with people in every time zone. So you are most likely to get a, a, a feedback. You go to a small group. You're, for example, for the most part, not that, uh, I'm talking about the majority of the work in the AI sick. It's like four people, and they're very understaffed. So when I went, they said, "Okay, but we are a packaging group at this point. We're not doing anything other than packaging because there's so much work to do." So I became a packager and got involved. It, it, it was just as that easy. I was trying to get involved in bigger groups that made it more complicated. Put your, uh, uh, start small. You can't run before you don't, don't learn how to walk. walk. Uh, okay, I won't go into it any further. What was any, was there any questions for at this point? Mama, uh, yes, mom. can you hear me? Yes, yes. Okay, there is uh, one question uh, from the chat. It is about Vicky, uh, Fedora Vicky is not, not not updated the joining process being not smooth so uh do you want to tell sorry i didn't catch that. can you repeat that yeah the question is around uh to join the community it has been really confusing and the six every second fedora and different group working groups they have the different processes yes. uh the wiki and document can be outdated and contradictory so it seems like a hurdle to join Fedora community smoothly. What what do you think, and what uh, how can we by bypass uh, these hurdles? Um, like I said, there is two official methods: the discourse and the matrix. In my own experience, the discourse some six won't even look at it. Uh, so you have had a better odds with the matrix. Some people maybe use IRC, but because it's bridged, it doesn't have uh, any issues. So you have the best odds of getting a response on matrix. Don't even bother with the VGI. I'm sorry, but don't. Unless it's a very popular SIG that uh, constantly maintains their wiki and uh, uh, documentation, you're most likely not going to get any useful information out of it. Perfectly said. Um, that's the that's one I all the time use that asking people on uh, on the matrix 
that's my go to space as well. Uh, any more question, anybody? Uh, if you would like to ask. If anyone has any questions overall and wants to ping me or uh, talk about anything, I'm man to dev in most places on GitHub, on Matrix, you name it. So just man number two dev. There is still a little bit more time. Uh, uh, Justin, do I have to? Would you like? Yeah, you, there is still more time. Do you want to add uh, anything? And there is one more question that do you recommend any solution to make joining the community? Easier. Yes, like I said, I did have uh, something in my mind. Uh, the thing is, the infrastructure team and the badge team are are very understaffed and need a lot of help. The thing is, my plan relies a lot on these two because they're, currently the badge team is rewriting the whole thing and they're doing a tremendous job, but it's like two people. So how are they going to get it done in like two days? So it's going to take a year or six months or something. Uh, and uh, as for the infrastructure team, a lot of our infrastructure gets um, bit rotted over time. So uh, that's a, a problem here. My problem was to make the SIG proposal a, a streamlined thing. If you sign up for Fedora, you go into the group sections that's there, you have a template like a, a issue template you submit your issue it's a proposal of who you are what you've done a cv what have you a motivation letter and just like you're applying for a job you just apply and see what happens you, some people can put hard requirements like you need a cv you need this or they can just put just write like 10 words about why we should let you join and that's enough so Groups can go hard or easy based on the requirements. But like I said, this idea isn't fully fleshed out. I think I'm overthinking some things. I need to look into documentations further. But the overall idea I had was this, uh, to approach this issue so that everyone can join. Because that's that was the experience I expected when I joined Fedora as a whole. I, I totally agree with you. And I... I would like to add just one more point to there that community are built up by people. So I think these issues uh, as bigger global and uh, open community and diverse community, more we have these kind of issues of smoothing out the processes and tailor out the process so that everybody um, can consume it easily. So just to add there, with all of these, I think we will need a little more love and focus from people in this uh, area to make it that's possible. The problem. It's the chicken and egg issue. How can you get new people to join if joining is so difficult? So it basically and that is exactly that yeah. doesn't get resolved. And that's the reason we don't have enough people in any sick because no one wants to address the underlying issue. That is that no one can join the the people that have the time don't have the patience to join. So you need to make it easy for those people to approach it so that you get new people. And it's, yeah, 100% won't stay. But even 10% stay, that adds up over time. So congratulations. You have the opportunity to do that. You have the next question. Can you link the team you said needed help or the team that work on this issue? Uh, can you share that information in our uh, metrics chat? That would be really helpful. I would say reach out to the community manager because the community manager knows basically everybody involved in Fedora. They're involved with all the groups, everybody. For example, it's the help desk. Just make it simple for yourself. It's the help desk section of the Fedora. If you don't know where something goes, I can't figure out how it goes, just go to the help desk. And that's the community manager. They're in this uh, uh, matrix chat as well, I believe. Uh, uh, they're in the discourse, they're everywhere. So it, they can point you to the right direction better than I can. For example, the groups are very like, so I'm working on GPU stuff most of the time while I'm the AI team, because there is no technically any GPU group. And uh, because a lot of the AI stuff requires 
Vulcan acceleration, Rockham acceleration, and what have you. So it's not that easy to understand. You need to be involved in all of them to know who is doing what. Okay. Uh, can you still ping the team name there, the one which you just mentioned about the AI and GPU stuff in the uh, chat? And when uh, you said community manager, I think this is the perfect time to bring our yeah. beloved community manager, Justin, back <laughs> on the stage. Uh, Justin, would you like to come up and share some tips with us, please? Uh, Justin, you are not audible, sorry. How Should I now? disconnect? Perfect. We can go ahead and wrap up and get started with the next session. Well, actually, we've got a little things that will fit in from the opening remarks uh, now that there was a little bit of fun with power and network, but we're back now. Um, thanks again for the presentation and uh, sharing your time with us today for Fedora Week of Diversity. And thanks, Amita, for filling in on very short notice when we uh, lost power here. So I'll go ahead and pull you all off the stage. Thanks again for your time and being part of the Week of Diversity event this year. We're super grateful for having you both.